pleasure to be with you here on Live at Noon. And uh, you can see from the Weather Center, Viper Radar HD showing a broad area of precipitation just off to our west, steadily progressing to the east-northeast. And we will get a few showers around here, but I think the bulk of the activity stays to our south and goes to the north. We'll be splitting the difference in between and not see as much precipitation as will come our way tomorrow evening and tomorrow night when we could get some pretty strong showers and thunderstorms into southeastern Wisconsin. Let's go ahead and take a live look outside right now because we are getting some bonus sunshine out there through some thin clouds. Here's a live look from our Port Washington Tower Cam. Flags along Main Street there kicking up a little bit as the breeze is getting a little stronger. We'll check that out in just a moment. But you can see those clouds starting to get a little thicker, obscuring some of the sunshine. That was more dominant during the morning hours. So in your weather headlines, we will call it a grayer day than yesterday, certainly. And rain will be rolling in initially a few showers late this afternoon and this evening and then heavier rain this weekend, especially Saturday night into Sunday. But mercury is rising in a big way. We'll be warmer today and even warmer Saturday and Sunday with temperatures that'll feel more summer like in the 70s outside right now. Not too bad. 56 degrees officially at Milwaukee's Mitchell International with a southeast breeze at 10 and that big cubic conditions comes up. We're now at 61 degrees in Watertown. Double nickels for you fine folks joining us in Waukesha flirting with 60 in Burlington, 56 in Lake Geneva and 59 in Whitewater. You check out the difference in temperatures from 24 hours ago, and we are on the right trend going up even more than we did yesterday. Six degrees warmer than we were yesterday when we were speaking together in West Bend and also in Waukesha, Whitewater and Watertown. And I think we'll continue to get even warmer as we head over the weekend. Look at the winds increasing as well, but the difference here is these winds out of the warmer direction out of the south, so helping to boost our temperatures, also gradually helping to boost the moisture as well. The wind speed at a baker's dozen in Waukesha, 15 mile an hour wind speed sustained in Beaver Dam. Look at what those winds are doing just off to our west. Temperatures right now surging 61 degrees in Omaha, Nebraska, 71 in Wichita, Kansas, and yes, we could see some 70s in time for tomorrow. Here's a look at the boards on the map today. Showers and storms just off to our west with this initial low pressure center. Again, I don't think we get anything significant from that one, but then uh, Saturday night through Sunday night, look for some damaging thunderstorms just to our southwest as the next wave of low pressure approaches us. Some of those could be strong around here, and we're going to have to keep a close eye on that right here in the weather center. In the meantime, by the beginning of next week, trough digs down in the center of the nation so we get a little chillier. Satellite and radar combination showing a lot of dry air here, preventing any significant precipitation from falling. It's this first wave that passes by. The second one brings us the rain this weekend. Today, up to about 61 with increasing clouds, just a few showers late. We'll see a few lingering showers this evening, otherwise cloudy, breezy, and mild, down to 47. 70 for a high tomorrow. Most of the day dry and mostly cloudy. Scattered showers and storms developing by late in the afternoon toward the evening. And then it gets interesting tomorrow night, especially showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could be rather heavy, otherwise cloudy and warm. Our lows tomorrow, lows, 60 degrees. Here comes Milwaukee's one and only 3D HD seven day planner. I think some lingering shower activity in here on Monday and our temperatures cooling down back to where they should be for this time of year by the beginning of next work week in the 50s.